Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I'm gonna continue one of my projects that I haven't told you about but we've been doing a lot of the, the smaller parts of the project like getting the graphics card through the server and stuff like that but I would really like to have a virtual server on a physical server over here that I can access or someone else can access from all over the world and do video editing on a regular program like getting a remote desktop to your computer where there is editing software and where you can sit down and edit and right now I have the graphics card passed through to the virtual machine which is awesome so now the virtual machine has some GPU power that it can use for hopefully showing pictures and stuff like that and well I ran into that um, when you're editing video you need the sound as well so um, and on VMware ESXi there is actually not a hardware sound card that's available in the workstation edition if you're, if you're using this on a regular PC you have a sound card that you can give to the virtual machine but on the professional ESXi version there is no hardware sound card to pass through to the servers so today I'm gonna see if I can ninja trick that and uh, we're gonna go do that at the computer so um, let's go to the computer here we are at the computer and I have been preparing a little bit this is the server yeah it is actually a server this is a server 2016 it's one of the trial editions and I'm gonna see if I can pass through a graphics card on that one well, let's see how that works. But let's start by seeing the hardware. Hardware, there. There is no sound card, but there is the NVIDIA K1 grid card. And if we try to add some hardware, there is this hardware that I can pick from. And there is nothing that is even slightly a sound card, so cancel that. What I have to, so what I need to do is actually add these to the, um, to the configuration file of the machine. So we are gonna shut this down. So we're gonna turn off the machine. There it is, I'm being turned. You're turning me off. Okay, it finally shut down and apparently there was some updates for it, so we can turn this off. And it's right there. And to get the best results, I read some manual that you are supposed to remove it from inventory. From inventory, we're gonna try that. There we are, nothing there. And we can go browse the data store. And the files are still there, here they are. We need to borrow the VMX file. So let's uh, mark that and download the file and we'll just place it on the desktop here. Okay, it came back there. I'll go in here and I will rename this one. Rename and we will just call this old. Old, there we are. So now that should not be used anymore. And we're gonna edit this. Uh, we're gonna send it to share with, open with, open with. Come on, just give me a bloody notepad there. And we're gonna format that. Uh, oh, this looks like totally shit. I think we need some editor for this. Close that again. So we will go get an editor. Let's see if we have something on ninai.com. There. Do we have a good editor? There. We have Notepad++. We will get that. Download. Run. Keep. Run, run. And. Yes, 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 yes. You can install that. It's fine. Minimize that. Finish. Close. Get rid of the damn icon. Oh, can't even see it. So. Let's see if we can set. Oh, edit with Notepad. That was almost too easy. And then it looks right. Awesome. We need to eat. Yeah, we need to do that too. We need to add these lines at the bottom of the text file. These, all this is hardware settings for this. So somewhere down here, 
we need to add that. So I'll just borrow this rich control insert and we will put that there. And except this 34 is the PCI slot and we need to make sure that nothing else is using that PCI slot. We have 224 right there. Yeah, I would ask you to to tell me if you see it, but well, that's gonna be after editing and a couple of days away. But I think actually we are good with number 34. So okay, let's save and exit, and we'll copy this back to the data store here. Um, that upload upload file and that one open and that is thrown back cool and we'll minimize this I will leave some links to this in the description so that you can do this if this works if you need this I have no idea to get this virtual machine back onto the computer, we right click and add to inventory. And the name, I like that name. And I like that host. And, okay. And we can exit this. And the virtual machine is back here. And let's see, edit settings. And absolutely nothing has happened. Mm -hmm. Okay, that really didn't work. But I noticed something in here that I didn't see before when I copied and pasted it in. So I'm going to try that before I give up on this. Like, I already did one of them. Look at, at this. Um, these brackets are different from these brackets so I'm gonna try and change all the the brackets and see if that might be what's going on here why this is not working and we'll save that and give it another go this from inventory yes we will browse data store go to that directory and we will delete that one yes and we will upload that file again that oh no we will not close that we will go into that and we will where did it go that's, that's kind of weird I usually I can right click and add to an inventory but I can't do that right now so this is rather odd now I can actually import it add to inventory well, I don't want to do that. I'll just delete this one again. Oh, there, delete that one. And why I can now import this is because I've gone ahead and deleted all the settings about the sound card. So I'll try and add them again. And I've edited this one so that the, these are the right uh, sort of those. So let's add this. Maybe I should just add one at a time. and try and upload that. That worked. So I don't know, maybe maybe there was a space at the end and that was not good. But let's see if how far we get with this. Yes, yes. That is there again. Let's see if there's any hardware that we 
we have an HD audio. So apparently I was doing something wrong and now it's better. Awesome. Summary HD audio. Connected and power on. Awesome. Okay, let's power this machine and see if I get any audio out of that. If it boots, that is, it's kind of booting. Okay, it has booted and now the loudspeaker is on. Um, what could we play music on to see if this is working? Does the server version have anything that can say beep? Some kind of video, of course. But let's let's just see the device in here. Sound and video controller, high definition, audio device, awesome. I'll try and transfer some kind of a video that has some audio and we'll try and play that. So, I have copied a folder with some video files over here and they are on the video and my project video number 411. I chose that one because it wasn't too big. It was five gigabytes and here's my video so let's try and play that and we need to put some uh, recommended settings that's gonna be awesome and I have absolutely no sound ah, okay and I don't think that it's using the graphics card for playing that it's a bit dodgy playback device it's playing here, so that's nice. But I'm not hearing anything, so it's not passing the sound through. Maybe it's this one that's not doing a good enough job. So I might just try remote desktoping into this. It might be this VMware thing that is not working for this. My computer. Hi, welcome to my playhouse. And today I have a neat little box. <laughs> but only the sound. And I thought we should have a look at that. Uh, first, I'm gonna explain, kind of try and explain what it actually is. It has some connections. Okay. Uh, I did not expect that one. Let's. Um, I will reboot this machine and see if it uh, behaves better. If it gets a little reboot. Restart it. Continue. I'm gonna shut this down. Oh, it's shut down all by itself. And we will start a new one. And we will change this resolution because that just sucked. Local resources. Audio settings. Playback on this computer. Do not record. Okay, that's why the microphone is not passed through. I do not need that, so um, that's fine. It seems to have a problem with my sound device. There might not be a sound device installed in Pure, it might be used by another program. Well, that's uh, interesting. My work, that's. Um, so now I cannot see it. Oh, would you like to enable it? Yes, yeah, sure. Playback. Remote audio. And it plays again. But the video. Hi, welcome to my playhouse. And today I have a neat little box that I've scored. And I thought we should have a look at that. Uh, first I'm gonna explain and kind of try and explain what it actually is. It has some connect. Okay, 
it plays the sound, so I have the sound through. I do believe that I want to go and get s some better codex drivers. Okay, it completed. Let's see. Show details. Okay, okay. Cool. Close. Let's see if that's any better at playing video with sound. Well, we will play that with this one. DX. Uh. But it plays. Hi, welcome to my playhouse. And today, I have a neat little box that I've scored, and I thought we should have a look at that. Uh, first, I'm gonna explain, kind of try. Thank you very much. It does look a lot better. I think I'm gonna call that a success. I am getting the sound out here, which I needed. And let's see if we can we can move in the video. We can. Which means that the box is pinging that from time to time, checking how. That is awesome. Nice thing to have that working. That um, well, it took a little bit longer than I had anticipated because. It didn't work at first, you saw that, um, those little duck duck was probably the wrong kind. I have no idea how they got in there, but well, it worked. Thank you very much for watching my videos, do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again, and have a really nice day. Bye bye!